All right, so today I received a package in the, from the UPS for uh, finally getting all the parts that I need to install the extra solar array on my porch roof like I've planned since April. Solar panels are sitting upstairs in the living room or, you know, against the wall. Um, when I... When I originally planned the system, the, the, it was it was supposed to be just like the first uh, system that I installed back in 2017, where the actual um, system that mounted it to the roof was going to be made out of uh, what they call Unistrut. Unistrut is a brand of, um, they call it, uh, what's the right name for that stuff, uh, strut channel basically it's like a u-shaped metal um, channel this isn't it but it's kind of what it looks like um, that's used in all sorts of commercial and industrial buildings you'll see it if you walk into like a store you know big box store and you look up at the ceiling and you see stuff hanging from the ceiling whether it be ductwork or pipes or electrical conduits or anything like that <clears throat> Chances are it's being hung from the ceiling off a of Unistrut. It's a very versatile, very common, very widespread hardware system for mounting, plumbing, and such things like that. Ductwork and HVAC equipment, air handlers, transformers, any kind of mechanical electrical thing you'll see in a big in a building. Chances are there's Unistrut involved. And that's what I used the first time I installed the system in 2017. The Unistrut that I used was made out of steel, and it was galvanized, hot dip galvanized, so it's coated with a thick layer of zinc to keep it from rusting. Um, <clears throat> the system that I installed up there, you know, I did a lot of research on on this, you know, this stuff because you know you, you put a solar panel system in and, and it's, it's going to be on your roof for a long time you know those solar panels are warranted for 20 years 25 years so you got to make it last without having to worry about it and I would have been worried and worried and worried about this you know not too badly but for a variety of reasons, because I didn't use I didn't use a commercially available engineered solar panel mounting product. I just used Unistrut. And you know, you read online, you get on these forums, and you read about people doing their own solar panels, and and you get all these horror stories. Don't use Unistrut. You're being cheap. You're gonna you're gonna be sorry. You know, it's gonna rust. It's gonna fail it's going to collapse it's going to you know blow up whatever else whatever else you're not meeting nfpa code 70 whatever 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 it is and um you know you know and that people say that stuff but how true is it you know i, I just I just don't know i mean you get these wind storms and i worry about this the system on the roof you know is it okay but I think today we've confirmed that, yes, it's okay, and it's not going to blow off, it's not going to fail, it's not going to break, nothing bad's going to happen, because quite honestly, this thing, <laughs> compared to Unistrut, is like, my goodness. So, Tamarack, flush mount, four solar panel four rail kit. So basically this allows you to put an array on your on your roof that is four units and it uses these aluminum channels. Very very similar looking to Unistrut. Almost identical except it doesn't have the holes in the bottom. Unistrut has holes in the other side that you can put the fittings and bolts through. Um, but what I'm really you know this is not heavy material at all. Like, really, this stuff is in no way, shape, or form what I would consider to be heavy aluminum. It's extruded, of course. Um, it's 
probably pretty stiff, but it's, you know, it's, it's not anywhere near what a steel piece of unistrut would be. Okay, so you have that. That's the rail that actually the stuff sits on. And then you've got these things. These are the brackets, or the L brackets they call them, that attach the rails to the roof surface. This part sits on the roof and a bolt goes through the hole. That hole is for a 3 16th or a 5 16th bolt. And then that other fitting there attaches to the bottom of these rails. Whenever I used Unistrut, I used the exact same thing, except they were made out of steel and they were the same thickness. Okay, so this is aluminum and I used steel up there and I used 3 8 bolts instead of 5 16 bolts. Okay, so that's a 3 8 bolt for a steel bolt for Unistrut. And that is a 5 16 stainless steel bolt for this Tamarack solar system. So the Unistrut is quite a bit beefier. This is what you actually use to hold the solar panels down in the Tamarack system. This is what I use to hold the solar panels down in the Unistrut system. So this would go on the edge of the panel between two panels and a 3 8 bolt would go down through there and then it would get bolts bolted with a nut on the other side. And that would hold, that's 3 16 inch thick steel, electro galvanized steel. This is anodized aluminum on the top and um, there's little teeth there that bite into the edge of the solar panel. That's kind of nice, but other than that, this is really very material, you know, wise. It's, there's very little here compared with that. And it's using a 5 16 stainless steel bolt instead of a 3 8 steel bolt. This is what basically is the Unistrut equivalent. So this part here, this matches up with this. This is aluminum, that's steel. Thicker bolt, and the washer would go there. So, yeah, these go kind of in here. Actually, I think they go from the other side. They basically get attached. Oh, they get like this. You slide, you slide them in from the end, and then it, you know, goes in place, and you t turn it and you tighten it. So, in this book, of course, it says it meets every code there is. says that we're good for a 180 mile per hour wind speed and 20 PSF snow load. So if this thing can handle that, I don't think I have anything to worry about. You know, as long as the lag screws that go into the rafters are good, the, the actual racking hardware is not going anywhere. If this thing is designed to withstand that kind of wind speed and this kind of snow load, which is what the design snow load I believe is for around here. I think that's what I assumed on my uh, existing system, then we are good to go. So I am definitely This cost this actually costs a lot a lot of money because <clears throat> you know this whole this whole kit was like two hundred dollars and I probably could have bought the Unistrut hardware for half that. 
but I decided, you know, we're going to do it. We're going to go the, we're going to do it right this time. We're going to get real solar panel hardware. We're going to get something that's designed for the job. You know what? We're just going to bite the bullet and just spend the extra money and do it. And I don't have to worry about gathering up all the parts. And that's one nice thing here. Everything's here. I have everything now. You know, with Unistrat, you got to go to a... You could buy it off like McMaster Car, but they're very expensive. Um, you go to like an industrial supply house, like a plumbing supply house, but local place, they're cheaper, but they're also a pain in the ass to deal with because they really don't want to deal with the guy coming in there to buy $100 worth of stuff. They want to deal with, you know, industries who have purchase orders and you know are, are buying thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of material on a regular basis i mean they'll sell it to you but they'll also make you know give you a grief when you walk in the door depending on which place you go so we have this so we're going to have this we're going to have unistrut we're going to see we're going to see how uh, how they compare over the next however many years that they're in service so aluminum versus hot dip galvanized steel. All aluminum hardware with stainless steel bolts versus all steel hardware with galvanized parts. Um, quite honestly, the Unistrat, if I do another solar system after this, it's probably going to be Unistrat because this hardware is no better than Unistrat. I will say that just based on the appearance and the what I see in this box. So that's pretty much it.